This strategy is partial product multiplication using base 10 blocks. Now you initially teach this with the base 10 blocks, but then the students learn the symbols for the various blocks to help them do this. So let's start with this problem, 46 times 73. Okay, now children are from, should be familiar with arrays by now where there's columns and rows, and this leans heavily on that concept. So first for 46, we know that 46 is four tens and six ones. So we draw 10, 20, 30, 40. This represents the bars of 10 cubes. And then six, one, two, three, four, five, six. These represent the cubes or the units. Now, the, um, the second number goes down the side, just like in an array. So there's going to be seven tens, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, with one, two, three ones. Now, using the system of a, with, that we use with arrays, you're going to multiply this by this. So 10 times 10 is 100. If you recall in base 10 blocks, the 100 cubes makes a flat, so this square represents the flats. And rather than boring you with all my multiplying, I'll just go ahead and continue to draw hundreds everywhere where I'm multiplying 10 times 10. This does take a while, but it's good for them so they can see how it works. And multiplying like this uh, means that they don't have to use the placeholder. And there is another way, which will be in another video, um, to do this without drawing the blocks. You're just you're using the numbers. Almost done here. Okay, now we're going to multiply 10 times 1, which is 10. So we need a 10 for each of these, going all the way down. It's important to keep the columns even, which I'm not doing a very good job of right now, but I do have the same number in each one. Okay, and then we're multiplying here 1 times 10, so these are each 10s. And 1 times 1 is 1. And there's our entire drawing. Now all we have to do is figure out what this equals. Now there's different ways that you can do this. You can have them just count the individual boxes and multiply by 100. You can count by, hun by hundreds until you get to the final one. You can put um, circles around 10 of them until you know you have a thousand. Um, there's many ways that you can do this. My preferred way is to figure out just how many I have by saying seven times 4, which is 28, and 28 times 100 is 2,800. And then my 10s, I have 3 times 4, which is 12. 12 10s, and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, times 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. 6 times 7 is 42, so that's 420. And then I have 3 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so that's 18. Now all I have to do is add this up. 8 and all those zeros is 8. 2, 4, 5, 8, 12, 13, and 1 plus 2 equals 3. And if I multiplied this out, I would get the very same answer. That's partial product multiplication using base 10 blocks.